Tabitha Queen went missing on May 9, 2021 after a mysterious phone call with her mother, Mary Lumford. The call ended abruptly when Tabitha mentioned two men in the car with her. Her family later found her three children alone at home with conflicting reports about when they last saw their mother. Tabitha was officially reported missing on May 11th. A disturbing detail emerged when Tabitha's 11-year-old daughter, Alice, revealed that Tabitha had argued with a man who had borrowed her car and it turned violent. There was mention of blood in the car and the man allegedly threatened her. Later, a van reportedly attempted to kidnap Tabitha, but her abduction status remains unclear. Tabitha's vehicle was found abandoned on West Pine Street, driven by an unidentified black man. Surveillance footage captured this event. The Bastrop woman has now been missing for nearly a year. Today marks the 30th birthday of Tabitha Queen. Her three children last saw her when she headed to the Save You More grocery store on Mother's Day last year. And that is where she was last seen on surveillance video. Police say they have a person of interest who is already in jail for another incident. She was described as 5'4", weighing 230 pounds with various tattoos and a scar on her chest. Despite calls for FBI involvement, authorities have not named suspects or persons of interest. Samples from Tabitha's vehicle were tested, but results were not made public. If you have any information, please contact the Bastrop Police Department or local authorities referencing case number 2021 dash 2497. Help raise awareness about Tabitha Queen's missing persons case and bring Tabitha home. Video in the disappearance of Tabitha Queen. Good evening. I'm Jeff Horchak. And I'm Jennifer Andrews. It shows a man leaving her abandoned car on May 10th, and that is the last day that she was seen. Tyler Englander has the details. Tyler. Jeff, Jennifer, the video shows a man leaving Queen's car on West Pine Street and then walking off. Residents say someone must have answers. It's good evidence, for one thing, for the public to be aware of what's going on. Ricky Anderson talking about the newly released video of the scene. Take a look. It shows a black male driving Queen's vehicle and then getting out and leaving the scene. We know a little bit more. And at the same time, since we knew a little bit more, we need to act upon that. Anderson has been leading search efforts to find Queen for several days. She's been missing now for about a month. And just last week, police found a gun inside trash bags behind Dotson Park, about a mile from her abandoned car. But they don't know if there's a connection. I'm out here looking for her mm -hmm. and her only. If anything else I find is out of the ordinary, they will be notified. Clinton Stevenson is putting up a $1,000 reward for information on Queen's disappearance. Sometimes you have to go at stuff a little different. And I thought maybe if we put up a reward or something or other, somebody might come forward to, uh, to talk. Stevenson knows all too well what it's like to lose a child. His son was killed 18 years ago. It's just not a good feeling. And I'm willing to to do whatever I need to do to help these people. Stevenson is hoping the reward will compel people to talk. If you decide to put up a reward, somebody may run up and tell you something. Anderson wants everyone in Bastrop to take a good look at the video. I want everybody to take close attention to that video. Some of you all had already downloaded it. Stream by stream, what the individual got on, what is he wearing, how does he walk? Anderson has a message to anyone who is refusing to come forward. Do not harbor him. Y'all know who he is. Anderson isn't giving up until someone is brought to justice. Somebody know who that individual is. And Bastard Blue Down, we got to get him. Bastard police are asking anyone with information to call a department or Crime Stoppers. Back to you.